Hi everyone. I want to spend this time with you talking about winter electric wheelchair driving safety. I really think this is a conversation that needs to happen not just for me as someone that relies on an electric wheelchair for my mobility, but also for the general public who operate motor vehicles. I've had a number of well-meaning people challenge me on why I'm not on the sidewalk and instead using the side of the road. I do understand that there's some risk in this. What I've found is that the, there comes a point on every winter journey where the sidewalk is insufficient and the road must be used. So I want to spend the next few minutes showing you examples of what I'm talking about. So I want to ask you to first look at this picture with me of a sidewalk. So you'll see where I've put a box around snow and ice that's fallen off the edge. You don't know where this will have happened. This snow and ice is more than sufficient for the wheelchair to either be dragged to the right into the snow bank causing you to get stuck or get stuck underneath the wheelchair and make you high center where the wheelchair is loose where the wheelchair is completely lost its traction to the ground so if you're using the sidewalk it requires a constant vigilance that it's clear ahead and that you're driving on a solid surface most likely ice with a very very thin layer of snow on top the problem with sidewalks that have snow on them is the treads on the powered wheels of your electric wheelchair just fill up and get so compacted that they lose their traction. And what should be a 15 minute drive all of a sudden has doubled in length and it's used up that much more electricity stored in the batteries you can very quickly lose your ability to get back home because of electric electric power not being sufficient so you have to make a decision on what is the safest route to drive and the effort that it's taking the electric wheelchair to get you where you're going. Now I want to switch over to a picture from the side of the road. Have a really good look at this. So you can't automatically assume that the side of the road is going to be safe to drive on either. When snow plows and vehicles drive by, they make these almost island type structures where a wheelchair can't pass it and will get stuck. So even if you're driving on the side of the road, you have to have a vigilant attention to where you're putting the wheelchair so you don't get stuck. So for me, this is something that I would need to drive around when it is safe to do so. Going th 
through the snow that is between the dots will cause the wheelchair to get stuck. So what you have to do is pay very, very close attention by listening to the cars that are behind you and going to overtake you. And then you also have to ensure that you're not putting yourself or at a driving speed of too fast. So you need to make sure you have control over the wheelchair and during the winter it's just not practical to operate the electric wheelchair at full power when there's loose snow on a street. In fact, another tip that I was given was to drop the powered tire wheel pressure to about 20 PSI down from the low 30 PSI range to help improve the grip of the road during the winter months. Now if you have solid tires on your wheelchair, this flat out isn't an option for you. I'm using inner tube tires because of soft tissue pain. So part of me driving on the side of the road is that it does provide a more comfortable ride to me. There's only so much that the inner tubes and the Rojo style cushion that I sit on is going to do for absorbing vibration. So this is something else you have to take into consideration. Is your physical disability going to be made worse because of vibration caused by the snow? Or are you able to drive on side streets like I try to do and manage your navigation? So what ends up happening is a combination of the side of the street and then getting out of the way when I hear a vehicle coming from behind. So I want to look at this third image now. This is the practical route that you would need to take to duck out of the way of a car coming. So you'd pull into someone's driveway and either wait or continue on the sidewalk until the car is passed and then get back out on the side of the road. The whole time you're driving the wheelchair during the winter, you continually need to be paying attention to where you're going. You can't get sidetracked with watching Christmas decorations or how beautiful God's creation is. Your attention needs to be at the same level as someone operating a motorized vehicle so you aren't getting stuck. Now if it happens then you may be able to power your way out of it meaning you'd be driving backwards through your own tracks. It's not automatically guaranteed. Now if you just you know plow into the snow bank you're likely going to need someone to rescue you so you can't drift to the left or to the right and you need to follow the same path that the snow plow takes now if you're in an older part of town there's a lot of above ground infrastructure you know cable TV phone lines and overhead lighting make uh, poles and require poles that city owned contracted snow plows must drive around and so the path that you're taking on a sidewalk is zigzag so you must pay attention to your wheelchair the other serious part for consideration is preventing hypothermia that is becoming too cold you also 
really should be having a cell phone with you to call for help if you do get stuck. It may not just be worth your while going out or you may decide that you only should be taking either a paratransit vehicle or just staying home. And that certainly is your prerogative to do so. I don't want to put you or ask you to be in a situation where you're not comfortable and can't control your electric wheelchair safely. For me, it's not an option. I must engage in the physiotherapy that is expected and required of me. So it means navigating and managing the winter weather. I hope this has been of some help to you. I would be glad to talk more about my experience on driving on the side of the road. If you have any specific questions for me, please leave them in the comments and I will endeavor to do my best to answer them. Thank you for this time together today. Bye for now.